Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Welcome to the temple and to Nora and Ben's uh, Bnei Mitzvah, Bat and Bar Mitzvah. Mazal Tov, Ben and Nora, we're all very excited for uh, you. We begin our service as we sing together, Hinei Matov Umanaim, how good and how pleasant it is to be here together to celebrate Shabbat and to celebrate Nora and Ben becoming a Bat and a Bar Mitzvah. Tachim gam yachad, hine matavu manaim. Shevet tachim gam yachad, hine matov, hine matov. Ya la 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 la. Hine matov, hine matov. Ya la 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 la. Hine matavu manaim. Ya la 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 la. And we turn now to page 74 to sing together Matovu. Turn to page 86. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Esher Kitshanu B'mitzvotah Vitzivanu La'asok B'divrei Torah Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, <coughs> commanding us to engage with words of Torah. We join together in English on the bottom of page on the bottom of the page. <coughs> o Adonai, our God, let, let the words, words of Torah, Torah be sweet in our mouths, and let the mouths of your people Israel, so that we, our descendants and descendants of all your people Israel, may know you by studying your Torah for its own sake. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to your people Israel. Baruch Ata Adonai Amlamet Torah Israel. We continue at the top of page 88. Elu Devarim Shi'ain Lahem Shi'er. These are things that are limitless, of which a person enjoys the fruit of the world, while the principle remains in the world to come. They are honoring one's father and mother, engaging in deeds of compassion, arriving early for study, morning and evening, dealing graciously with guests, 
visiting the sick, providing for the wedding couple, accompanying the dead for burial, and being devoted in prayer, and making peace among people. But the study of Torah encompasses them all. We turn to page 109 as we introduce our formal call to worship. What does it mean to be, jo please join me at the bottom of the, at the, bottom of the page. What does what it mean to be called to worship? All serious activity requires preparation. The prayers and blessings that precede Bar Hu are warm ups for the individual. Now, communal prayer begins. The leader asks, Are you ready to pray? And we respond, Yes, let us pray. We rise to our formal call to worship on page 108. Please rise. Barhu et Adonai Hambarach, Baruch Adonai Hambarach Leilam Ba'et. Praise Adonai to whom praise is due forever. Praise be Adonai to whom praise is due now and forever. Yotzer Or, Our Prayer for Creation, on page 110. Baruch Atal Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Yotzer Or, Vare Hoshech, Ose Shalom, Vare Et Hako, Hamayir Laaretz Vela Darim, Alecha Barachamim, Uftuvo Mechadesh Bechol Yom Tamid, Maase Vare Shit, Ma Rabu Maasecha Adonai, Kulam Bechokma Asita Mala Haaretz Kinya Necha, Tit Barach Anonai Eloheinu, Al Shevach Maase Yadecha, Ve Al Meore, Or She Asita Yefa Arucha Sela, Or Hadash Al Tion Tair, Veniz Kechunwanu Meheira Le Orot, Bruchata Adonai Yoter Hama Orot. Praise to you, Adonai our God, Sovereign of the Universe, Creator of light and darkness, who makes peace and fashions all things. In mercy, you illumine the world and those who live upon it. In your goodness, you daily renew creation. How numerous your works! Uh, how numerous are your works, Adonai? In wisdom, you form them all, filling the earth with your creatures. Be praised, Adonai, our God, for the excellent work of your hands, and for the lights you created. May they glorify you. Shine a new light upon Zion, that we all may swiftly merit its radiance. Praised are you, Adonai, Creator of all heavenly lights. Baruch atah Adonai, Yotzerim Arot. We continue reading together on the on the bottom of page 113. Love your neighbor as yourself, you said. In light blinded we saw that inner and outer worlds are one, <clears throat> as you were one. You spoke and we wrote, we reached for you down the centuries, your light moving before us. As we climbed, fell back, and climbed again, your Sinai of life. Baruch atah Adonai, habocher ba'amo Yisrael ba'ahava. We continue with the calling of the Shema on the following page. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Baruch shem kavod malchuto le'olam va'ed. Blessed is God's glorious majesty forever and ever.
on page 116. Ve hafta e Adonai Elohecha, ve holovavcha uv cholnavshecha uv cholmeodecha, ve hayu hadvarim ha ele esher enochi mitzavacha, hayom al levavecha, ve shinan tam levanecha ve libarta bam, ve shivtecha ve vetecha uv lektecha vaderek, uv shokbecha uv kumecha, uv shar tam leo al yedecha ve hayu lechotefo bein enecha. Uktav tam am mezuzo betecha visharecha. Lamaan tiskaru ve asitem et ko mitzotai, vihitem kedoshim lelohechem and ni adonai elohehem. Asher hotsedit et chem mi eret mitzraim, leot lachem lelohim and ni adonai elohehem. And you shall. And you shall teach them diligently unto your children. And you shall speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand. And they shall be for frontlets between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and upon your gate. And upon your gate. That you may remember and do all of my commandments and be holy unto your God, unto your God, unto your God. We read together on the top of page 119. If people fall, can they not also rise? If they break away, can they not return? The stork in the sky knows when to migrate. The dove and the swallow know the season of return. What human instinct knows the time to turn back? What cue sparks the consciousness of the soul? We pray to sense this day anew, attuned to the call of sacred living. We turn now to page 122 to sing together Michamocha. Mika Mocha 
Please rise for tefillah on page 124. Adonai safatai tiftach uvia gita hilotecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu ve'elohei avotenu ve'imotenu. Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzach, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah. Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora, El El Yon Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Fekone Hakov Zocher Chazde, Avot Vimahot, Umevi Gula Livne Vinehem, Lamaan Shemo Ba'ahava, Melech Ozer Umashia Magain, Baruchata Adonai, Magain Avraham Ve'ezrat Sarah. We continue reading together on the bottom of page 128. Adonai, you give life to all. You cause the wind to shift and rain to fall. You sustain life through love, giving life to all, through great compassion, supporting the fallen, healing the sick, freeing the captive, keeping faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, source of mighty acts? Who resembles you, a sovereign who takes and gives life, causing deliverance to spring up and faithfully giving life to all? Blessed are you, Adonai, who gives life to all. Baruch atah Adonai, b'chaye hakol. We turn to page 130 for the Kedusha, the call for holiness. We will declare your greatness and for all eternity proclaim your holiness. Your praise, O God, shall never depart from our lips. Blessed are you, Adonai the Holy God. Baruch Ata Adonai Ha'el Hakadosh. You may be seated. Hot. 
I'd like to invite uh, members of Nora and Ben's family to uh, lead us with uh, the coming prayers. We have Megan that is reading on page 134. If you can uh, please uh, come here to lead us. And after you, it's Derek and Kelly. And then Devon. And after Devon, it's Shannon. <coughs> Our God and God of our ancestors, be pleased with our rest. Sanctify us with your meat's vote and grant us a share in your Torah. Satisfy us with your goodness and gladden us with your salvation. Purify our hearts to serve you in truth. In your gracious love, Adonai, our God, grant us your holy Shabbat as a heritage. May Israel, who sanctifies your name, rest on Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, who sanctifies Shabbat. Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh Shabbat. And we turn now to page 137, and we have uh, Derek and Kelly. On this holy Shabbat, may we draw near to life, to peace, and to joy. May we find true rest, holiness in our deeds, worth in the study of Torah. Let us feed on the love of goodness. Let us drink from the love of goodness. Restrain our thirst for excess and cleanse our hearts to serve life well. On this holy Shabbat, may we draw near in life, in peace, and in joy. Baruch ata Adonai she'orcha levadcha b'ira na'avodod. And we have Devon leaving us on page 138.
We acknowledge with thanks that you are Adonai, our God, and the God of our ancestors forever. You are the rock of our lives and the shield of our salvation in every generation. Let us thank you and praise you for our lives which are in your hand, for our souls which are in your care, for your miracles that we experience every day, and for your wondrous deeds and favors at every time of day, evening, morning, and noon. O God, one whose mercies never end, O compassionate one whose kindness never fails, we forever put our hope in you. And on page uh, 141, the blessing for Shalom, uh, we have Shannon leading us. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of our world. Plant virtue in every soul and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Praise you, Adonai, who blesses your people with peace. Baruch Ata Adonai, Amvarech et Amo Yisrael. Shalom. Sim, 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 shalom, sim, 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 shalom, sim, sim. Sim, 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 shalom, sim, 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 shalom, sim, 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 shalom, tova uveracha. We take a moment for a silent prayer. courage and healing and strength in our lives, in the life of everyone that is dear to us, as we name in our hearts those we know that need healing and courage and strength, we turn to page 253 to sing together the words of the Misha Berach. We 
turn now to Seder Kriyat HaTorah LeShabbat, the order of reading from the Torah on Shabbat. It's on page 244. And I would like to invite uh, members of the family that are participating in uh, the service of the Torah. I would like to invite Michael and Sean Katz to uh, open the ark and then later on to close it. And for the passing of the Torah from one generation to the next, I would like to invite Terry and Steve and Julie and Dennis and, uh, of course, Dana and Scott, the mm -hmm. proud parents. And uh, I would also like to invite Robin and Mark and uh, Jeff and Linda for after we do the hakafa, after we go around with the Torah, please wait for us to uh, undress and dress uh, uh, the Torah later on. So, uh, not yet, but uh, Robin and Mark and uh, Jeff and Linda, right after we get back here, please be waiting for us when we uh, uh, come back from uh, going around the sanctuary. Please rise, everyone, as we're about to open the ark. Just waiting for this day, for this Shabbat, to be passed on to Nora and to Ben, as you are becoming named Mitzvah, a bar and a bat Mitzvah. And it's not only the Torah, uh, which you already carried and you already practiced reading from, it's also the lessons that you learn from the Torah, the teachings of the Torah. And since you got what is considered probably the most difficult Torah portrait in the entire Torah that you already experience and know how hard it is to take some of the teachings of the Torah and to make them relevant to your life. So hopefully the Torah is passed on to you. All its teachings, some are, some are much more inspiring than the ones in your Torah are passed on to you, for you one day to pass to the next generation. We're going to literally pass the Torah from grandparents to parents, and then to a, a Nora and Ben first. Ben. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adoneinu, Kadosh Shemo. Our God is one, Adonai is great. 
holy is God's name. You can follow the reading of the Torah uh, in the handouts. Uh, Benjamin is uh, Ben is the first uh, reader. You can follow both the Hebrew and uh, the English. They are not going to translate their Torah reading, so uh, uh, you can uh, follow what they're reading as they're doing it and appreciate uh, what the subject matter of this Torah portion and what a great task. Ben and uh, Nora had uh, with uh, the Torah portion. Uh, before... 
God of Israel, I stand before you at this holy moment, prepared to take my place as a bar mitzvah. I now stand ready to join Jews of generations past and those yet to come. Like them, I pray that I may understand my role and responsibilities as a Jew, to uphold, affirm, and live out the commandments which have united our people and made us a holy nation. God, make me grateful for all that I have, and ready always to share with those who are in need. Then I will be able to say, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. I am a Jew because a hundred generations before me were steadfast in their faith. I am a Jew because the faith of Israel teaches love and kindness. I am a Jew because the faith of Israel teaches justice, compassion, and truth. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Olam Vaed Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bacharbanu Mikol HaAmim Benatan Lanu Et Tarato Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Vara'ahu HaKohen Vayom HaShivii Vahine Hanega Amad Ve'enav Lufasha Hanega Ba'or Batiski Rav HaKohen 
Shivat Yamim Shainit Ra Hakohen Oto Bayom Ashivi Shainit Behine Keha Hanega Lofasa Hanega Baor Hoti Haro Hakohen Misfa Hat He the Hibes Pikata Bato Hair. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Nantan Lanu Torah Emet, Echei Ulam Mata Betochenu, Baruch Atah Adonai, Matina Torah. Amen. God of Israel, I stand before you at this holy moment, prepared to take my place as a bat mitzvah. I now stand ready to join Jews in generations past and those yet to come. Like them, I pray that I may understand my role and responsibilities as a Jew, to uphold, affirm, and live out the commandments which have united our people and made us a holy nation. God, make me grateful for all that I have and ready always to share with those who are in need. Then I will be able to say, Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. I am a Jew because hundreds of generations before me were steadfast in their faith. Faith. I am a Jew because the faith of Israel teaches love and kindness, and I am a Jew because the faith of Israel teaches justice, compassion, and truth. And I want the grandparents again for the missing form. Oh, right. Oh, right. Bar who at Adonai Hamvorach, 
ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם. אשר ברחר בנו מכל העמים. ונתן לנו את תורתו. ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. וראה את הנגע ביום השביעי, כי פסה הנגע בבגד, ובשתי, ובערב, ובאור לכל, אשר יעשה האור נמלה צרעת ממארת, הנגע צמא הוא, ושרף את הבגד, או את השתי. את הערב בצמר או בפשטים או את כל קולי האור אשר יהבו הנגה כי צרעת ממארת היא באש תשרף ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת והיה עולם נוצר בצורכנו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה אמן now to the Haftarah, which you can also follow in the purple handouts that you have. The first one reading would be a Benjamin Ben, and then would be a Nora, but first we're going to say the blessings before a reading from the Haftarah. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, אשר בחר בני לילים טובים, ורצה בדבריהם, הנה אמרים באמת. ברוך אתה אדוני, הבוחר בתורה, ובמשה עבדו וישראל עמו, ובנביאי האמת והצדק. ויהי כי קרא מלך ישראל את הסופר ויקרא בגדיו ויאמר האלוהים אני להמית וכחות כי זה שולח אלי לאסוף איש מצרתו כי אך דונה וראו כי מתנה הוא לי. ויהי כי שמוע אלישע איש האלוהים כי קרא מלך ישראל את בגדיו וישלח אל המלך לאמור למה קראת בגדיך יבוא נא אלי וידע כי יש נביא בישראל ויבוא נאמן בסוסייב ובריך בו ויעמוד פתח הבית לאלישע וישלח אלי אלישע מלאך לאמור הלוך ורחצת שבע פעמים בירדן וישוב בשרך לך ותהר. ויקסטוף נאמן ויהלך 
Varomer Hine Amarti Elai Yetze Yatso the Ahmad the Karab Bishem Adonai Elohai the Hainif Yado El Hamakum the Asaf Hams Torah Halo Tov Amana Ufarpar uh Naharot Damasek Miko Meme Israel Halo Arhat Bahem Vitaharti Vai Fev Vailech Bechema Vaishu Avadive Vaidabru a live Vamru Avi Da Davar Gado Hanavi Diber a Lecha Halo Taase Vaf Ki Amar a Lecha Rechat Utar. Vayere, Vayi, Bo, Bayardain, Shava, Peamim, Kivar, Ish, Ha Elohim, Vayashav, Besaru, Kitsar, Naar, Katon, Vayitchar, Vayashav, El, Ish, Ha Elohim, Hu, Vay, Vaho, Mahanehu, Vayavo, Vaya Amod, Lafana, Vayomer, Hinena, Adati, Ki, Ain, Elohim, Vaho, Haaretz, Ki, Im, Bisrael, Vayata, Kana, Braha, Me, Eight, Avdaha, Vayomer, Hai, and Hai, Esher, Amati, Lefanov, Im, Ika, Fayit, Sarbo, La, Kahat, Vime, Ain, Vayomer, Naaman, Valo, Yutana, La, Avdaha, Madza, Ser, Semer, Pradim, Adama, Ki, Lo, Yase, Od, Avdaha, Ola, Vaazava, Lelohim, Eherim, Ki, Im, Lava, Ladavar, Hazet, Yislach, Adonai, La, Avdaha, Bivo, Adoni, Vait, Rimon, Lehishaha, Ot, Shama, Lo, Nisan, Al, Yadi, Vahishtaha, Ve, Vihishtaha Veti, Bait Rimon, Vihishtaha Vayati, Bait Rimon, Nislachni, Adonai, La Abdaha, Badavar, Hazel, Yavayomer, Lola, Lishalom, Vayelech, Mito, Kivra, Eretz. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Aulam, Sir Kol Haulamim, Sadik Bechol Hadorot, Ha'el Hana Aman, Ha'omer Veose, Ham Daber Umkayem, Shechol Devarav Emet Vatzedek. All Hatarav, the All Havoda, the All Hanviim, the All Liam Hashabat Haze, Shinatata Lanu, Adonai Eloheinu, Likdusha, Valim Nucha, the Havod Otiferet. All Hako Adonai Eloheinu, Anachnu Modim, Lach Um Varchim, Otach, Yitvarach, Shimcha, Befi, Ho, Chai, Tamid, Leolam, Vaed, Baruch Ata Adonai, Mekadesh Hashabat. Shalkoach. Thank you. Shalkoach. You did well, both of you did great, much more than well. We want now Michael and Sean to and come back to open the ark if that is possible and everybody to rise so we can return the Torah back to the ark on page 256. 256 for returning the Torah back. Shabbat 
Shabbat shalom. Thank you all for coming to my bar, mit- to my bar mitzvah. I truly appreciate it. My Torah portion is about God telling Moses and Aaron that if a person has a white blotch or discoloration on the skin, then they are brought to Aaron or to one of his descendants, who are priests. The priests look at the mark on his skin, and if the hair is turned white and the mark went into the skin, then it is a leprous curse. When the priest sees this, he will declare unclean. But if there is a white spot on the skin and it didn't penetrate the ha- and it didn't penetrate the skin, or the hair did not turn white, then the priest quarantines him for seven days. On the seventh day, if the mark has not gotten bigger, the priest has to to quarantine him for seven more days. The priest looks at him again on the seventh day, and if the blotch has faded or spread, the person is clean. This shows that diseases cannot only have a physical cure, but also a mental cure. For me becoming a bar mitzvah, it means maturing and taking care of my own responsibilities. For example, doing chores on my own and doing things around the house without reminders from my parents. Another example of this is my mitzvah project. I've been working very hard for the past couple of weeks on making and serving food to the homeless with the Franciscan kitchen. Maturing as an adult also means giving back to the community. That is why I decided to choose giving food to the homeless for my mitzvah project. It is truly an honor to become a Jewish adult, especially after all of my hard work and preparation at the temple. Last, I would like to thank mom for being the most hardworking mom anyone could ever ask for, dad for always being a cool, funny, skibbity dad who gives great advice, especially when I play baseball, Nora for always being by my side and doing this B'nai Mitzvah with me, Elliot for making it very hard to study and also being a fun person to play with, (laughs) Gramps who loves to watch me play baseball unless it's too cold, Baba who can always help me with my golf game, Papal, who loves to who loves to give me the claw, and Yaya for planning so much of the of this Bene Mitzvah weekend and always trying to do something fun with us. Uh, I'm so grateful to have four grandparents that can always give me great advice. Next, I would like to thank Aunt Kelly and Uncle Derek, Aunt Devin and Uncle David, and Harlow and Oliver for making the long trip all the way here from California. Thank you also to Auntie Shannon for coming from Florida. I would also like to thank Aunt Megan and Uncle Jordan for coming from Savannah. Thank you to all my co- cousins and aunts and uncles from all around the U.S. for coming to this ceremony and party. This weekend would not be the same without you guys. I'd like to thank Rabbi for helping me write this speech and prepare for my service, all of the TAs from Hebrew school for helping me study, and all of my friends from school, Hebrew school, and baseball for being the best of friends and people to hang out with and be around. I'm so happy to have so many people here to celebrate this special weekend. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you all very much for being here for my bar mitzvah. I really appreciate it. Today I read my Torah portion, which is about skin diseases and afflictions that start appearing on people's skin, houses, and clothing. Anyone with the disease must show it to a priest who is not who most people would go to first if they had the strange marks appearing on their skin. I think that this priest is a representation of the mediator between us and God because even though my Torah portion doesn't directly state it, people usually go to priests for spiritual help. Although this is based on a skin disease, the individuals affected by the leprosy obviously had upset God in some way and needed a priest's help to repair the relationship spiritually. Becoming a Bob Mitzvah means having a lot more responsibilities, and although I'm excited for the party, I, also, I still am also excited to become an adult in the Jewish society. I know that this will come with many responsibilities, but I hope that it will make me more mature and responsible because I definitely don't do my homework without my parents asking me to a thousand times. I think that becoming a Bob Mitzvah will help me accomplish these goals by giving me more responsibilities and harder challenges, and as I'm getting older, I think I will find this helpful. For my mitzvah project, I also volunteered at the Franciscan Kitchen, which is a really helpful nonprofit organization that provides meals and clothes for the less fortunate. I chose to volunteer here as my mitzvah project because I really enjoy helping people. I love my time here so much I signed up for more days than I needed to, and I can't wait to come back after my bar mitzvah. I also wanted to mention my tali, which was my uncle Drew's before he passed away. It's an honor to be wearing it after Drew, my dad who wore it to his bar mitzvah and his wedding, and my aunt who wore it to her bar mitzvah. It means a lot to me, and I'm so happy to be wearing it right now. I want to thank my mom for always pushing me to do things, even when I really don't want to do them. You always encourage me to be my true self, and you love buying me things I sneak into the cart at Target. You also like hanging out with your girlfriends, but not past dust because you're in bed. (laughs) I look up to you in so many ways that you can... Imagine, and I love you so much, even if I don't always act like it. I also want to thank my dad for even make, for always making me laugh and driving me all over Kentucky, even after dark. Actually, you're the only parent that does anything after dark. <laughs> my mom goes to bed at 8 p.m., even on the weekend. <laughs> 
You're always late to everything, and it definitely rubs off on me, but it's okay. I'm pretty sure you love your car more than Michigan football. Well, actually, that's pretty debatable. I'm beyond grateful, and I love you so much. I want to thank my grandparents for always spoiling me and for the countless adventures from Costa Rica for a much-needed getaway or to Chili's because we couldn't find Red Robin. I want to thank Ben and Elliot for never not keeping me entertained and never letting me sleep past 8.30 in the morning. You are definitely annoying at times, but if I didn't have you, I'd be always be bored, so I guess it's okay. And they're really... Wait... And I want to thank all my school friends for the memories I forever cherish and all the help in social studies. I also want to thank all my preschool and Hebrew school friends I love dearly, and I can't wait. I can't. And I can't believe we've known each other for over 10 years, but there's nobody else I'd rather spend those years with. I also want to thank all my family and friends that came all the way here to support me, and I don't, don't think I'll ever be able to communicate how much it means to me. Thank you all. First of all, I want the two of you to look around this room. These are your people. We are so fortunate to have everyone here today to watch and support you as you grow and develop as a young adult. They will cheer in your victories, relish in your joy, and offer you guidance in your mistakes. We're so fortunate to have such a tribe. I'm going to speak to Benjamin, and then Scott will speak to Nora. Benjamin. We're so incredibly proud of the work that you've put into leading the service today. You divided it out, you set small goals for yourself, and at times stayed up in your room at night practicing without ever being told. You did an incredible job today, and that is a direct reflection of your hard work. You came into this world easily on a cold November day, and since that day you've remained just that. You are easy. You do not fit the mold of a typical middle child. You are easy to parent. We just need to tell you that we're disappointed and we can see the regret instantly on your face. You are kind and patient, helping others as they need it. You are detailed and hardworking, following the example most of the time. You prefer the predictable and the routine. You love a good Lego direction sheet and you'll excel at putting together IKEA furniture someday. <laughs> you don't like surprises or taking risks and you prefer being right. You like taking direction, a coach and teacher's dream. You thrive on concrete and sequential, and you're a math whiz. You're a good friend. You are silly and playful, and you do all sorts of weird expressions and impersonations to make other people smile. Even when moving to a new school in fifth grade, you made friends quickly with neighborhood classmates. And you love to make other people laugh, even if it sometimes gets you into trouble. You love helping others. In our recent community service efforts, you were called the MVP by our supervisor at the food kitchen for taking the job of serving others <laughs> with such grace and care. And you are a mama's boy. Even now, you'll sneak in a lingering hug or come lay in my bed to watch a show. Though you do love throwing the ball around and staying up late watching movies with dad. You don't have strong opinions. Through this whole bar mitzvah process, you have been so agreeable letting your sister express her preferences <laughs> and going with the flow. You are my easiest to prepare food for, a little foodie, though I don't know where the food goes, who tells me at every meal, no matter what, we're eat, what we eat, that the food is bussin'. <laughs> you excel at baseball. Through hard work and grit, you've really developed into one amazing player that would make your ball-playing great-grandpa Harry very proud. You've perfected the diving catch, even doing it in center field when it's not warranted. And you are a consistent leadoff batter, the first to take on a new pitcher and a new team. You're also on the sidelines encouraging your teammates and listening intently to the feedback of your coaches. You take after your dad with your easygoing temperament and of course your love of Michigan football. You scream voraciously at the screen for every play, big or small, and you relish in being a victor in true Michigan fandom. You get along so well with your older sister who has been bossing you around since you, came into her, you became her instant playmate 12 years ago, and your younger brother who idolizes and imitates everything that you do, as annoying as it may seem. Both of them rely on you as a companion, as a confidant, and Daddy and I only hope that you continue to be each other's secret keepers and best friends your whole life long. As you continue to grow and develop, Dad and I hope that you continue to be easy, 
We hope that you remain a steadfast friend and a kind Cuban, that you continue to relish in the details, you work hard, and you serve others however you can. We hope you continue to love to learn and you find a career that allows you to lead by example, take direction, and offers you fulfillment. We're so proud of the human you're becoming, and we feel humbled that we're along for the journey. All right. What a lovely tour portion you guys had this time. Um, Nora Drew, first off, what an amazing job you did this morning. And you sing so beautifully that sometimes mom and I wonder if you're actually our child. <laughs> but we are so incredibly proud of you today and every day, but especially to see the last few years of hard work and study finally show itself in the form of this beautiful service and become a bat mitzvah. Thirteen and a half years ago, you made our dream of being parents come true. You changed our lives and are every bit what we hoped you would be and so much more. We're not sure you realize it yet, but you are st so strong in so many ways. You have a strong personality. There is no sitting back and watching the show go by. You are the show. <laughs> you have a commanding presence, and everyone wants to be near you. We admire how fearless you are, whether it's trying a new sport, reading Hebrew in front of a large audience, or talking to your parents in ways that we would never dare. <laughs> we'll, we'll just call that strength, too. <laughs> you, you demonstrate a toughness that is very unique. You are a fighter. You will always be the first person to stick up for anyone in your life if you feel they've been wronged and you will fight for them until the very end. For everyone here, keep in mind it will pay dividends in the future to stay on Nora's good side. <laughs> you are strong-willed. When you get it in your mind that you are going to do something, you will stop at nothing to get it done, which is why we knew you would do such a great job this morning and how we know you will be super successful one day in the business world. And aside from being strong, we are so proud of your passion to help others. You are an amazing big sister to both your brothers most of the time, you really took a liking to serve others at the food kitchen, so much so you convinced the 80-year-old coordinator to let you come another day in which you were not even scheduled. And no matter the situation, you always find a way to make younger children feel like one of your peers. This is such a great trait you carry and hope you realize how much you have to offer the world. And lastly, you're so damn smart. You started reading at four years old without any instruction. You rarely ever do homework and somehow still have straight A's. You now do jigsaw puzzles faster than I ever could. And your sneaky antics are actually really clever and well thought out, but this is the only time we'll ever admit to that. <laughs> you have such a quick wit and sharp tongue that will sometimes get you in trouble, but if you can find a way to harness it to do good things, you will be unstoppable. Bottom line, we're so proud to call you our daughter. We wish for you to continue to be brave and confident, call out wrongs when you see them, love yourself and, and those close to you, and just keep on being the rock star human being that we've come to love so much. us in prayer. Thank you for chatting so beautifully from the Torah. As your uh, parents already mentioned, both of you have an amazing uh, voice. They were surprised to hear that uh, when I uh, mentioned that uh, you're musically uh, talented, but uh, you, you really chanted the Torah so uh, beautifully. Uh, and uh, thank you for teaching us what you've learned from your Torah portion and from becoming a bat and a bar mitzvah. As your parents mentioned, you did not get an easy Torah portion. It's actually a Torah portion. I, I don't think I told you that, and I wouldn't tell you that in advance. When uh, Jennifer's dad was uh, the rabbi here, uh, he would never allow this Torah portion to be part of a bar of bar mitzvah. He would give a different Torah portion. We don't do that anymore, but you, you really got not an easy one about skin diseases and uh, things like that. Uh, that uh, actually diseases that we don't really know what they uh, uh, what they are, but. You did a great thing. You both found meaning and teachings in your Torah portion, and you owned it. 
And by doing so, I am hopeful that for uh, the rest of your life, you will continue to finding meaning and relevance in Torah portions that are much easier than this one and much more relevant and exciting than this one. But that's the most important thing that you do as part of uh, becoming a bar or bat mitzvah on your Torah portion. And you did it no matter how hard it was. There was something else that I want to say to you about the fact that you chose to do your uh, day mitzvah together. It's not easy. Nora, you had to stay another year uh, as an eighth grader to be with the seventh uh, uh, graders. And uh, Ben, you had to uh, have your uh, bar mitzvah way before your classmates uh, there and to join the seventh grade when you were uh, sixth grade. You, you, mo you both made concessions. You both gave up something in order to do your uh, bat and your bar mitzvah together. And it shows at least three things to me. That's what I've learned from the two of you, and I'm grateful for that. First of all, it shows maturity of both of you, which means that you're ready to be a, a bar and a bat mitzvah. But more than that, and your parents spoke about it, it shows real love between siblings. I don't know if you are admitting even to yourself that you love your uh, brother and you love your sister uh, that much, but it does show the willingness to uh, not only share uh, a big moment with your uh, sibling, but also to actually uh, give up something for that. You uh, not doing it with your classmates and you not doing it with your uh, cl classmates. And I wish you, just as your parents did, that this uh, connection between you, which is kind of unusual and shouldn't be taken for granted, that it will continue for the rest of uh, your life. And I wish both of you that uh, as you grow, you'll continue to change, but don't change too much because uh, you're pretty awesome as uh, you are. So keep the core of yourself uh, uh, there. We have some gifts for you, and then we have a blessing and a song for you. So we have a lot of gifts, actually. Some of them are pretty heavy, so oh. that actually has your brother's name on it, by the way. <laughs> so uh, you might want to take them afterwards when you uh, can sort out uh, what is what. But from the temple, you have a tzedakah box. You uh, spoke about your uh, mitzvah project, so you are already aware that there are others who need your help. That's a constant reminder. You have a lot of certificates that will remind you of this day. And you have the entire Hebrew Bible. You read from one Torah portion. There are 54 Torah portions. Uh, more or less all of them are kind of more inspiring. And, uh, and there are 39 books in the Hebrew Bible. So hopefully you'll get to use it uh, during uh, your lifetime. And from the Federation, you have a book about Jewish values. And then you have here from the Jewish Family and Career Services a beautiful certificate and a wonderful pie to show that you uh, uh, that the community appreciates the fact that you've already contributed uh, at least 13 hours of your time. And you said again, so even more than that, uh, to help uh, others. And Jennifer wants to sing for you a, a song, but before that, we're going to do a blessing that being passed on from uh, the times of the Torah. God tells Moses and Aaron to bless the people of Israel with that, and that's the way we bless our children and we bless you in life cycle events. So if you can uh, stand next to your sister, but come closer and look at me. Uh -huh. Yes, that's the way we do it. <laughs> so I'm going to say to you, Yevarchechem Adonai Veishmerchem. May God always guard you and bless you and keep you. Ya'er Adonai panav elechem ve'yechunchem. May God's face always shine towards you and may God always deal graciously with you. Nisa Adonai panav elechem ve'yasem lachem shalom. 
May God's face be lifted towards you, which means that may God be part of your life forever, and may God grant you the most important blessing of all, the blessing of shalom, of peace and wellness and wholeness. And we say together, Amen. Amen. And there's a song that you last, may you be a blessing for the rest of your life. You see now. Turn now to page 293. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. On this Shabbat, we remember especially Paula Erdley, Jonathan Zaworski, William Glick, Stan Natowitz, Ann Sherman, Marsha Toftland, Rosalie Fleischaker, Ann Merenblum Herman, Lillian Lansky, Roy Lee, Michael Renko, Elise Sales, Sylvan Stiebel, Carol Margolis, Margaret Mosseson, Alan Planck, Sylvia Weingarten, Loretta Goldstein, Rick Haskell, Leonard Marx, Marcus Breyer, Kenneth Grossman, Gladys Fleischaker Meyer, Benjamin Moser, Julia Penso, Thelma Weiss, Rose Snyder Hamel, Howard Levine, Goodman Tasman, Richard Uslander, Carl N. Bazzi Victor Jr., Felix Weingarten, Michael Harry Brody, Libby Price, Miriam Weinstein. We also remember members of Ben's and Nora's family that we wish so much could be here. We remember Drew Corson, Elaine Corson, Sidney Corson, Irv Ganshore, Betty Ganshore, Edith Katz, Harry Katz, Irvin Chaikin, Dorothy Chaikin, Aaron Corson, Devora, Zorinsky, Didi Hoffman, and Mildred. Orchkin. We think of our loved ones as we remember them in our hearts and our minds as we rise and turn to page 294 for the morning's Kaddish. Please join me. Yidgadal v'yitkadash shemeh rabah בעלמה דברה חירותי וימליך מלכותי 
בחייכון וביומכון ובחיי דכל בית ישראל, בעגלה ובזמן קריב, ואמרו אמן. יהי שמי רבה מברך לעלם ולעולמי עולמיה, יתברך וישתבח ויתבער ויתרומם ויתנשא, ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתעלל שמי דקודשה בריחו. לעלם אין כל ברכתה ושירתה, תוש בחתה ונחמתה, דאמירן בעלמה ואמרו אמן. יהא שלמה רבה מן שמיה, וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. זיכרונם לברכה, may the memory of our loved ones come to be a blessing and a benediction to us all. Amen. Our uh, almost closing song is Ose Shalom. We ask God to bring peace and wellness and wholeness to all humanity. thing is the blessing for the fruit of the vine and the blessing for the bread. Will the parents and the younger brother join us uh, as we say the blessings? Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Woo! Mazel Tov. There's food and drink, some food and drink over on this side if you want to make your way that way.